Just the other day, I was having quiet time and my text I was reading that morning was from Mark 11 verses 1 through 11. And um, something struck me um, from that text in the, in the Gospel of Mark. I've read this several times and I just want to read to you what struck me. And I pray that this encourages you as it's really blessed, challenged and encouraged me as well. So in Mark 11, I'm just going to start from verses one. It says, or actually, I'll just go to verses four through six. It says, so they went and found a colt outside in the street tied by a door. They untied it. And some of those standing there said to them, what are you doing untying the colt? And this is the key verse. They answered them just as Jesus had said. So they let them go. Verse seven. They brought the colt to Jesus and threw their clothes on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their clothes on the road, and others spread leafy branches cut from the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This story is about Jesus. Um, he's left Bethany, Bethphage, and they're walking, and he tells his disciples to go across the street, and they're going to find a colt, which is like a little donkey, tied up, and to bring it over. In the culture back then, if anyone rode or would ride on a donkey, a colt in particular, it was because they were said to be of royalty. The donkey was, the colt is a young donkey and had, and in this case had never been ridden before. And that was the case for royalty. That's what they did. So for the disciples to hear Jesus go ask them. And, and what we don't know before this is we don't know what, if there was a prior conversation with the owners of the colt. We don't know if there was a prior conversation with the disciples preempting them that Jesus was going to ask them to do this. All we know is Jesus says, go across the street, go get the colt. They go and Jesus says, when you go get it, they're going to ask you, what do you want? Why are you taking it? What are you doing? And just tell them the master needs of it and that he'll bring it back and they'll let it go. And that's exactly what happened. When they got there, they were untying the colt. And this is what the Bible says in verse six is they asked them, what do you need that for? And they said exactly what the master told them. They said exactly what Jesus told them. There's several things in this text that have been a blessing to me, and that's what I want to highlight to you. Number one, they went in obedience. They went in faith and in obedience. They didn't question Jesus. They didn't ask, well, master, did you have a prior conversation? We don't know if they did. All we know is Jesus told them and they went. They went in obedient faith, trusting that even they were going to untie something that they didn't, that didn't belong to them, that they would have no problems. So there's sometimes God would challenge us or encourage us to do something. And our response should be to obey in faith. Why? Because when, and, and well, uh, the response we should have is to obey in faith. And when we get to those situations, also trust that Jesus would tell us what to say. Jesus would tell us what to do. We will sense the Holy Spirit leading us in those circumstances. So maybe you sense God is pushing you up and encouraging you to step out in faith. Step out in faith and trust that in that moment, just like he told the disciples, he will tell you exactly what to say. He'll tell you what to do. And when you obey and you do what he says or you do what he tells you to do, there's something that's going to happen. You see, these two disciples got to witness firsthand the providence of God, the provision of God, the sovereignty of God, the lordship of their master. Because as they said, as he told, as, as they said what Jesus told them to do, those people just let them go and they were able to take the cult. But in addition to witnessing the provision of God, they also got to participate in the glory and the honor and the praise of their Lord and Savior. In this event that we now call Palm Sunday, they got to experience that. And so I bring this up to you to say, when you obey Jesus, in faith. When you say what he tells you to say and do what he tells you to do, there is a blessing. And that blessing is for some of you, it could just be provision for you others. It could be participation into something amazing that God is doing, not just in your life, in your circumstance, in your situation, but on earth. And so that's just blessed me so much. And it's this whole idea to obey in faith continually. And it's this whole th the understanding that even Jesus says, he says he does what he only does what he sees the, the father doing. He says only what he, he hears the father saying for him to say. And Jesus is our example. And so as we continue in the faith, as we are in our jobs, as we are in ministry, or if you're a student, as you're doing your work, I want to encourage you. Continue, if you sense the Lord asking you to do something, obeying faith, trust that God will guide you, that he will lead you. He'll tell you what to say and watch and see how God gives you the opportunity to witness and experience his provision and to participate in something glorious that gives him glory and honors his name. God bless you.